One of the great summertime events in central Pennsylvania is the Tussie Mountain Wing Fest. It's a great event for the entire family, and who better to take you on a tour than me, WHVL's resident foodaholic. The Tussie Mountain Wing Fest Challenge takes place each Thursday night throughout the month of August, and 2010 marks the 12th year for the event. And Christy Hume talks about some of the old, I mean new, changes. At the very start of the Wing Fest, it was done as a competition format, meaning that we brought different restaurants in each week, and they competed and went on to the finals where they competed to be the grand champion. We sort of got away from that over the last few years, but we thought it was important to bring that aspect back this year. So that's one giant thing that we did this year is, is we have different restaurants here each week and they're each competing each week to be that number one spot. And, uh, and so we bring those, those winners from the previous six weeks back on the seventh week and then we get a final winner on the seventh night. The winning restaurant from each week of competition advances to the finals, which will be held on August 26th. And Darren Proven of the Hublersburg Inn is more than okay with the new spirit of competition. Oh, we look forward to it every year. We uh, we had two best of shows last year, two different weeks, and uh, we're coming to defend our title. It does it does feel a little competitive. It's fun competitive, you know. Keith Ammerman of Lewistown, along with a group of friends, makes the drive each week to State College during Wing Fest. Look at the beer's cold and the wings are hot. <laughs> That's all it takes to make us happy. We circle it when it starts on the calendars and we come every Thursday. An event like this wouldn't be complete without great local music. And Hume talked about the awesome local acts that want to take to the stage at Tussie Mountain. We, we've got a wide variety of, of musicians around here to choose from. We're really lucky and it actually gets very competitive. A lot of people would like to, to be on our big stage and with only seven nights you know, we, we can't have everyone here. We'd love to, but we can't have everyone here. So we, what we end up doing is uh, choosing for our main acts, groups that, that, that have a following, that we think will bring crowds with them, that people will, will want to hear, that we know, you know, that will bring the crowds out for us. And, and there are certain bands that we have to have year after year after year because they bring the crowds. And there are some others that we, that we try because we know they're good and we know that they'll, they'll get a following. While this is a great event for adults, Hume and the crew at Tussie Mountain have gone to great lengths to make this a family event. We try to make it a, an all-ages event. We um, Actually, this year we brought the bounce house in and, uh, and we do that at no charge because we feel like, you know, if you have kids and you want to come out to the event, it's certainly nice to have something for the kids to, to do and a reason for the kids to, to want to come here as well. I mean, the parents come for the, the wings and the beer and the atmosphere, but that's not so much for the kids, so uh, so we try to have something for them too. So essentially it becomes an all ages event where everyone can come and, and enjoy something. Tony Gaffari of Canyon Pizza and Wings in State College explains why he thinks this is the best event in State College. I mean, it's the atmosphere. You, you know, you see kids, you see teenagers, you see parents, grandparents. If you Anywhere you look, there's a blanket out there with an entire family hanging out. You know, a lot of the other State College events is geared to one group of people, not necessarily the entire family. Whether you love great wings or great local music, the Tussie Mountain Wing Fest is an awesome night out for the entire family. For the center of it all, I'm John Strove.